Well, there has been a lot of discussions about life cycle analysis in, in the industry uh, the last years, or for a long time actually. And uh, here at Label Expo, uh, UPM Reflatac has just introduced Label Life. And I'm standing here with Robert Taylor, who is the director of environment at uh, UPM Reflatac. Uh, Robert, can you tell us a little bit about the background to, to this Label Life introduction? Label Life is uh, a tool that we've developed to help uh, communicate the environmental uh, performance of our products. And the idea is that it's a tool that our salesmen can use with customers and end users to help them understand the environmental impact throughout the whole life cycle. And uh, we have the situation nowadays where customers, end users have their own environmental targets and they want to understand that the products we are selling them can help them achieve their own targets. And the tool is the way we can help communicate that. Okay, what do you then see is the drive, drive, what is driving the growing interest in sustainability, you think? Good question. Um, I think uh, we have a globally a growing population. Uh, we see pressure on raw material availability, which translates into raw material price uh, questions. We have tightening environmental legislation. Uh, for example, in Europe, there's the development of legislation around actually being able to tell the footprint the environmental footprint of your product when you're selling it. And although that legislation hasn't been finalized yet, already some of our leading customers and end users are already thinking in this way. So we, as a leader, try to be at the front, at the front of the queue and give the information that they're looking for. But at the same time, sustainability is more or less just a word. What, what, what does it mean for UPM Reflatec? That's an even better question. <laughs> Um, I mean, sustainability, you know, we uh, talk about environment, economic and social sustainability. Uh, but what we've tried to do in uh, Rafatak is bring together an approach which focuses on, one, the product. So what's the environmental or sustainability performance of our product, whether it's a paper or a filmic liner or uh, face paper. Uh, we also focus on the solutions that we can offer our customers. For example, one of the biggest problems of the industry today is what to do with this waste. And we offer raft cycle, a process which can then uh, gather that waste and take it back to be used as composites, energy, or uh, recycled in some other way. The third part is then our partners. And that means working with suppliers, customers, end users to try to find that more sustainable road forward. And uh, one of the case studies that we've uh, announced today is where we were working with Unilever and um, one of the big global printers to map, for example, the printing process and understand its impact on the whole story. So, how do you determine the environmental impact of your business? Well, um, our aim is to understand the environmental impact through the whole life cycle. And we have basically what we call our eco-design approach. And the eco-design approach means that we look at each stage of the life cycle, try to understand where the impacts are and where we can try to reduce those. And one of the first things we do to be able to prioritize that work is to do a life cycle assessment. And the life cycle assessment basically gives us the hotspots. You know, where should we prioritize our efforts? Where should we focus if we want to reduce the impact of the product? And for the, the label product, the clear hotspots are the raw material sourcing and then the end of life. So the efforts that we make in our sourcing and also the solutions that we supply, that can really help us reduce our impact. But it's a whole life cycle thinking. But uh, how, how are you getting these messages across to the customers and the, the end users? Well, uh, the LCA message, the life cycle impact, that's the, that's the reason we have a label, uh, label life. That's the tool that we can show uh, the impacts in terms of uh, energy, carbon dioxide, and water. And you can get a, a statement which can be sent to you by email, and it tells you exactly for that product, exactly for that quantity, and according to the local life cycle, uh, the, the, the end of life uh, scenario, whether it's incineration recycled or, or, or landfill. You know, that's, that's how we can do it with Label Life. I think the industry is missing an understanding of the life cycle impact of the printing process and therefore we worked with Unilever to uh, model the printing process for 22 different products across four different printing technologies 
and we were able to establish that in the life cycle the printing process accounts for anything between 10 and 45 percent of the total life cycle impact so it's been very valuable from that perspective and I think also for Unilever they can then start to think about how they design the labels for the future and uh, I think that's been a very informative process. Okay Robert, uh, is it possible to have a quick look at uh, this new uh, tool that you are uh, introducing here at Label Expo? Absolutely, come across to the stand and meet our experts, they'll take you through it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Basically when you come into Label Life, uh, what you can do is you can uh, navigate according to the, to the product. And um, if we take an example here, and we go down and take, for example, a raffle coat plus, you can select, for example, the 65, whoa. Oh, of course I have to empty these first. Take that one there, and then we can actually compare it with for example this product here one we can landfill one we can recycle we can set the quantity and then basically you press go and what you have is the environmental impact comparing one product with the other and basically what this is telling you is that um, for example here there's a difference between the two products of one percent in terms of energy con consumption nine percent in water 23% in CO2 and that's the basic result that's the difference between product A and product B we also provide uh, context for example in this case this 9% difference is equivalent to producing 52 bottles of wine and um, we also have here the actual quantifiable figures as well in terms of liters kilogram CO2 and megajoules of energy and the best thing about it is we can then download it as a PDF, we can open it up and we can send it straight to the customer, straight from here. And that's it.